Hey guys, it's day three of um, C++ with, uh, within Unreal Engine 4. And this is going to be a very, very short video because I don't have that much time to play around with it, unfortunately. Um, but I thought I would take a look at how we can create you know, these. We have some, an example of uh, like a node that is not an execution node, but one of these. Where can I find one of these? <coughs> You know, we have one here, base turn rate, for example. I believe inside the third person character we can get something like get forward, get something, get right. Yeah. Okay, anyway, this one is a, actually a good example because it's not, uh, and this get world delta seconds, and because these are. Nodes that don't have an execution pin connected to them. So how do we create those? That was what I wanted to figure out. So I found out that it's about a matter of uh, declaring your function as pure. So if we, we have a... Um, let's find a good example of this. So we have, for example, uh, my boolean from last time. So we can obviously just get it from this property here so we can just query that boolean as we're doing here um, actually not here we have we can say get uh, my bool like this but you can see this is a red node and it's a property um, so what we do and can do instead is to declare a function like you function blue callable and then blue print pure and give it a category. Oops. Like this and let's to uh, do this bool and my pure method just like that so it's just going to be super simple um, so let's right click this and say create declaration definition could not be completed something is missing because I am missing a semicolon let's try it again Okay, so this was supposed to save me a, a few um, key presses, but it's just going to generate that declaration here. So it's going to be useful in case I have lots of stuff to type in, I guess. Other than that, I don't really think it's going to be that easy, uh, faster. So it's not going to return false, it's going to return my this uh, B, my something, my boolean, uh, like that. And let's just combine that. So now we should be able to say, for example, branch, and then drag this out, say um, my pure method, which is going to return a bool. And then we can print out, well, we can, could also work, just print out this like this. So it's going to return true. And that's because we set it to true and we set it to false. And it's going to print out false for us. So that's how you get this node here. So if so far I've figured out how to create these and in C++ and my custom method here and another type of custom method. So it's not like I got a ton of stuff going yet but um, I'm learning and it's good to have a few things uh, in place some basic stuff so we can start to figure out some more things 
<clears throat> so that was actually what I had for today. Fortunately, I need to go do something else, and um, I'm gonna continue playing with C++ uh, soon again. So stay tuned and bye.